With Thursday fast approaching, let's break down my top options for DFS at this week's U.S. Open. In the stud range, give me Rory McIlroy at $11,700. McIlroy is coming off a win, but he had appeal even before that. McIlroy has now finished inside the top 10 in four of his past five events, two of which were majors. He finished second at the Masters and eighth at the PGA Championship. Given all those events, McIlroy now ranks second in Data Golf's True Strokes Gained Query across the past six months behind just Scotty Sheffield. McElroy is on a new level right now. He's 11-7, but well worth that salary. So to me, among the studs, I want Rory McElroy at the top of my list. In the mid-range, it's time to build around Hideki Matsuyama once again. Matsuyama did have a neck injury prior to Augusta, but he has proven since then that he appears to be over that injury. He finished third at the Byron Nelson. He played tremendous on approach there, and that allows us to trust the longer-term data on Matsuyama. The longer-term data says... This guy's pretty freaking good. Matsuyama is 12th in Data Golf's true strokes gained across the past six months. We know what he can do in majors, measuring up against tough fields. We've seen it recently. And Matsuyama, among the best golfers in the world, he's 10 2, not a bad salary for someone with his skills. I'm willing to pay that in a range I want to be in often for this week. My top value for this week is Mito Pereira at $9,000. We saw Mito in contention at the PGA Championship. Obviously, didn't end well there, but he hasn't shown any ill effects since that time. In two events since the PGA Championship, Pereira has finished inside the top 13 both times, including a 7th place finish in one of those. Pereira has tremendous ball striking, ranking 18th in the field in strokes and off the tee across the past 50 rounds, according to Fantasy National, and he's also 19th in approach. Pereira's short game, not too shabby either. He still checks in with a salary of just $9,000, and to me, that makes Pereira a key building block when you want to get back up to the studs like McElroy and Matsuyama. That's all we got here for this week on the FanDuel Hurry Up. Good luck to you with your DFS lineups for the U.S. Open. We'll talk to you once again next week.